Hey guys, this is Jeremy. I'm back on the Minecraft server with Church Bag, and I have a huge hole here. If you want to see how this was made and the conversation we had on this topic, um, jump over onto Church Mag. I um, had a great conversation about um, Gamergate, which was a fun conversation to have. So if you're interested, by all means, go check that out. But I want to build with this big area a tree farm. So I'm going to make this tree farm off camera because it's not my own design. As you guys know, I don't like to build my uh, other people's designs because I feel like I'm stealing it. But I do want to decorate this room after it's built. So the way it's going to work is you would come down here and the tree farm will be right here. You come in and you just spam the trees and it automatically grows them and it pushes them out. When it's done, you come over here and you take your... Uh, Axe, your efficiency axe, unbreaking axe, and you chop them all down. And then when you're done, you come back over here, you store all the logs that you had, and then you go crazy again. So that's the setup I have. I want to build this really quick because then I want to do the design um, right afterwards. So I'm going to build the whole thing off camera. I'll share down in the link below the design, and then I will catch you guys in just a second. All right, guys, so here's the tree farm. I've put in some flooring here. I figure I would test some stuff out. I wanted to show you guys what this actually looks like. So the original design actually has these guys over here and then these guys right here to push it that way. But I wanted to make sure that I utilize the space that we had dug out. Um, in fact, it's probably too tall, but that's okay. And so the whole design is set up that you were just to come over here and you grab a tree uh, let's just take the whole stack and then you come over here and you just set it down pushes it over and we can keep going for a little bit and I'll show you actually what it ends up looking like so here in a second you'll see that the tree is actually coming out this way and then it's starting to come out here it'll get pushed out to here and then this one will actually trigger and push out and then these whenever it gets to here will actually start to push out when this one's too long that it's actually touching this wall it actually cannot push anymore so we'll start to work on the design it I'll actually extend this all the way out so that you see what all this looks like but basically it's just wood all over the place so that's what that looks like I do want to get a little bit of design in um, to kind of work with this so let's come up here I have a bunch of trees at the top um, that were growing actually I need to get that X so I have a bunch of trees. What I was thinking of as far as design was to turn this into one big tree. And so kind of have some leaves here that go around, kind of hide inconspicuously the, the design of all this, I guess, I don't want it to look industrious and it kind of looks like it's just a bunch of redstone. So hide a bunch of the redstone. And this is where you actually go to put in all the uh, bone meal. And so we have a ton of bone meal hanging out here. So it's an easy way just to stick the bone meal in, go down there, get a bunch of lumber going. It's a unique design. So let me get some leaves real quick. I'll jump back. I'll do a little bit on camera and I'll do the rest off camera just to kind of see how it looks. And I'll catch you guys in a second. All right, guys. So I got some leaves. Here's what I was thinking. And obviously I don't want to affect the redstone, but these are transparent, so it shouldn't mess too much with things. So if I were to just kind of block stuff off, have a little behind it, let's see. I'm not going to shape it right now, um, but I do want to shape it later, just kind of give it some authenticity as far as what the leaves would look like. So there's that. Let's go one more. Um, I may even put some lumber behind it. I've got some on me. Let's see what that looks like. That there. Um, it's here. And just kind of go crazy with this because I don't, I want it just to look like, wow, underground tree farm. I kind of get it. And then one there, one, come on. Um, see that obviously this is going to be perfectly hidden I get that that's okay but I want it just to be enough 
enough that it's actually hidden. So we'll do this. Come back one. Randomly put some stuff. I like that. Put that there. And there. Yeah. Obviously, I'm going to um, put some stuff here as well. Just kind of hide what's happening here. Let's see. There we go. So, it's going to look like a big old tree here. But it is intentionally going to not be a full design that is going to just completely hide anything. Because I do want to come in here, have this going, um, come over here, chop all the trees down, which it's actually the perfect height where you just come under and you just take care of all the trees this way. Um, so it's perfect setup for that. And so the design itself, I think I'm going to only go till here. So I think I'm going to cover this up. That was just a fail. Hmm. There we go. So we'll cover a lot of this up, but I don't expect it to be much more than this. Because anything behind here, we just walk under and then it's the trees, we cut them all down. You're going to see this, maybe I can put some trees up there just to kind of cover that. Um, I don't expect to really have a canopy up there. So yeah, that's the basic design. I'm going to finish things up here, kind of give you guys an idea of, this is just an idea of my thought process with it. And then I'll show off what I have afterwards. So give me one sec, guys. All right, guys. So here's what I've got. I'm going to show you guys the final design here. If you guys look, I love this foliage. So we've got the setup here for the chest. It goes all the way down. I almost just fell. Holy smokes. So if we go down here, you guys can see that this is all set up. And it's a beautiful little setup here. Um, if you come in here, we can show you just a little bit of the design with everything that's going on. Are you going to shoot off? No? There we go. Alright, so we'll get some of these trees out. I love how the foliage is because if you guys look here in just a minute, it makes it look like a cave, but at the same time, there's this uh, forest organic flow to it, which has that just great sharp contrast of wait are we down in the caves or are we out in the wilderness and so i love the idea of just having those two different kind of designs here so this is just a short viewing of it i'll show you kind of how this works out over here so whenever the tree grows it comes out here in fact let's just take a quick look in here so uh, can we grab them yeah i hate wasting stuff so it grows here and then whenever it gets whenever it does grow it gets pushed over here and then whenever this goes it pushes this way and so if we go all the way over here in fact i i purposely broken this up so that when you come down here if you really look you can see the wiring back there but it's intended not to even be able to truly be noticed so you come down here and even the wiring over here is intentionally hidden and then this is just kind of designed to break it up as well so if we come over here it comes out this way just as I was showing you over there gets pushed to here and then this pushes it over here and it'll get pushed all the way back to here whenever we get to the wall which it can't push anymore then this row just gets pushed over one and then as you see we're already starting to get this pushed out and so we can get this whole thing filled in fact I did one time and it got all the way filled here and then the machine actually breaks so I need to make sure I don't get it all the way built out and so I can come collect the wood. Now the interesting thing is it can only do certain kinds of wood. The acacia wood it does not work well with. Um, I believe that the dark oak also doesn't work. I haven't tried that one yet. Um, but all the rest of the wood does work and so we can harvest all of that. Uh, my next goal for this project is on my site to create a wood farm shop. And so I want to sell some of the wood that I do create out here. Now that being said, I don't expect to sell it for a diamond for every single piece. I'm thinking either like a redstone or a lapis, so much less of a price here. So this wood gets pushed all the way out here, gets pushed across. 
We even got the foliage here. Whenever it's truly full, you saw right here, you couldn't see up much. But I love how this looks. You have the cave over here. You have this um, mechanism here to push the wood across. But then you have just that whole artistic design to kind of enjoy that process. I really like how this turned out. Now, the original design actually had it so that instead of this whole thing being here, this was here. And so it would have pushed the wood this way. And then this whole thing was actually over here. And so the way it would have worked is you run this machine and then the wood would actually get pushed across. And then this whole wall would actually be wood over here, which is fine, but I didn't want to build it this way. I want it to be much more compact. And so I really liked how this turned out with this kind of a design. And so this whole piece here, it's just what had been put on the original design, which I'll make sure I have a link for that. You guys can see. But this part is customized. In fact, whenever I did customize it, if you get, oh, I'm gonna have to go back over here. Um, when I did customize it, I had to finagle the wiring because it was really easy just to have the wiring go up and around for the original design, but you can't have that. You can't have this just simply spit off here because you need to make sure you have that delay. So I had to push it out and to make sure the wiring didn't intersect with each other. So I had to finagle it a little bit and even over here, with the wiring trying to get to this right here, I had to finagle it as well. So um, if we were to get up in there, and I know that there is a way to, I'm not sure how right this second, um, but I had to get the wiring that goes across and into the actual pistons over there. So that's my design. And really kind of, if we just get another look at it here, if we go this way and we go down, it's just a whole world over here. I really love how this goes. If I do any kind of different stuff, I may make it look a little bit temple-y. I was thinking about here, if you come up here, this is where you put all the bone meal. Um, but I was thinking about making some of this uh, chiseled stone over here, just kind of give it a little bit of a different look, almost a temple-like thing. Um, even could go as far as having a trap or something here, but. That's a little key details that I'm not necessarily keen on doing. It's just kind of a simple process. Um, but yeah, that's the whole setup. In fact, if you notice, there's layers upon layers of leaves in here just to kind of break things up, trying to make sure that design looks really well. I was thinking about putting blue clay up here. Eh, I really like how this looks, so I'm going to leave it like this. So tell me what you guys think. I do need to go make some shops and then... This is going to be one of the last episodes that I do for my personal channel um, coming up here soon. And then we're going to switch over to a whole different format with Let's Plays, a whole different game. So check that out when we get there. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Um, I've been actually using this lumber. If we come over here, I've been using the lumber to make coal because now I'm going to have an infinite source of coal. Um... Yeah, let's just go ahead and take this one. I'll replace it later. But what I think I'm going to do... Where did it go? You guys saw that pop off, right? Did that pop down in here? Is it in the furnace? Oh, come now. You guys saw it. Oh, there it is. How in the world did I miss that? Alright, so let's just do this. That's going to be our new setup. So literally, we're just going to fill this with coal. Fill this with lumber, and now we can just get that much more coal. I was getting a whole bunch of green dye. I like that idea. Um, yeah, we don't need more green dye. Oh. So, that's what I got here. Tell me what you guys think about the whole design for the farm downstairs. Uh, would you guys do anything different? Do you like that look for doing the cave, but the forest as well? Um, what do you like? What do you hate? Shoot off in the comments. Tell me what you think, and then next time we're going to finish up the Let's Plays and jump to a new game. So I will see you guys next time. See ya, see ya. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.